Greetings, mathematicians. Today we're looking at Unit 8, Lesson 8, Perimeter and Area of Rectangles. Uh, these are two words that I hope, I hope, hope, hope you have heard before. Now, when we talk about perimeter, we're talking about the distance around an object, typically a closed geometric object. Next area, or the next term is area. When we talk about area, when we're talking about rectangles, a closed polygon. Uh, we're talking about how much space is inside that rectangle. So perimeter, outside, area, inside. All right, let's take a look at our objective together. Let me just do a quick adjustment. There we go. Objective, I will use a formula to find the perimeter and area of a rectangle with fractional side with fractional lengths, side lengths. Ooh, tongue twist this morning. Let's try that again. I will use a formula to find the perimeter. That's outside. Distance around. And the area of a rectangle with fractional side lengths. So this means we will end up doing some adding and multiplying of fractions. So we'll do a quick review of both. Uh, let's take a look at our vocabulary and define these properly. So our vocabulary, first off we have perimeter. distance around. So again, if we have a rectangle, we want to know the distance around. If it's two inches on the side and 10 inches on top, we need to add up all the areas or all these side lengths. Now, most times you're going to see only two lengths. That's because if it's 10 on the top, and they are parallel, and they appear to be the same size, they are. So 10, 10, 2, 2. So let's add them up. 2 plus 10 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 10 is... So our formula here would be side plus side plus side plus side. If we were talking about... Um, five-sided, six-sided, eight-sided figures, you'd have to add more sides to it. But for a rectangle, we're only going to have four sides, so we just need to add up our sides. Another way to show that would be um, perimeter equals S1 times 2. So if this is side 1 times 2 plus side 2 times 2, and we could add them up. But most of what we're doing can be done with this formula. All right. Let's take a look. Another vocab term here, area. The cubic space inside a solid figure. And most of the time, we're talking about a face of a figure. So let's stick with that same example up here area. The formula for area will be area equals length times width. So for our example here, it is 2 times 10. So area equals 2 times 10. So that means area equals 20. And for this example, let's call it inches, 20 inches. Then we will do that exponent 2 because that stands for cubed inches. All right, let's look at an example. And I notice I am missing a label here, so let's go ahead and give this a label. And this is part of our objective about using these fractional sides. So let's take a look at perimeter. And first, I want to split this. I want to make sure my visual space is defined. All right. Perimeter, that means I'm going to do side plus side plus side plus side. 
perimeter equals start with my two thirds. I have two thirds here, I'm gonna have two thirds here. So two thirds plus two thirds plus four fifths. It's blank, but it's on the opposite side. So I know it's gonna be four fifths. Now, what I know about adding fractions, I don't have the same denominator, but I can get the parts together. So let's go ahead and add up the parts we have and use parentheses to do that. So two plus two is four. So I can say four thirds plus eight fifths. All right, I've got a problem here. I've got unlike denominators. Let's move that area out of the way. Um, I need to figure this out. So this is gonna be an extra step. So let me rewrite my, my problem, four thirds, and let's add it to eight fifths. Let's extend that fraction bar. I need a multiplier, five, five, three, three, Twenty times five, or four times five is twenty. Three times five is fifteen. Eight times three, twenty-four. Five times three, fifteen. Now I've got something I can add up. Twenty plus twenty-four is forty-four fifteenths, which is a silly way to say that's my my perimeter. So let's divide down. How many fifteens fit into forty-four evenly? It's going to be two. That gets us to 30. So from 30 to 44, that's 14 fifteenths. So our perimeter here is two and 14 fifteenths centimeters. All right. Luckily, our area is going to be much easier, and I can I can actually go ahead and do it over here. Area length times width. Area four fifths times two thirds, two times four is eight, five times three is 15. So we can say it's eight fifteenths centimeters squared. Pretty easy peasy. We have two different formulas, one for area. So we're looking for the space in between. We're talking about perimeter, we're going all the way around. All right, friends, let's take a look at a couple of samples. focus. There we go. All right, so for the first sample here, we have a square. They're giving us two, two sides, but they're the same. So let's see, what will be the formula for the perimeter? P equals S plus S plus S plus S. What am I adding up here? half plus half plus half plus half. If I add up those halves, what is my perimeter? One, one, add them up. Perimeter equals two centimeters around the figure. Hmm. While we're on this figure, what do these little corners mean? These squared corners. That means the, the shape or the figure has 90 degree corners or angles. All right, that tells us it's one of the properties of a rectangle or a square. All right, let's look at the area here. Area equals length times width. Area equals half times half. Or we just go numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Area equals one times one is one. Two times two is four. So area is one quarter centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. Easy peasy. Next one will be a little bit trickier. We have a fractional, we have a mixed number here. So let's go with perimeter. P 
equals side plus side, side plus side. Perimeter equals, remember I'm doubling up. This side is two, this side has to be two. Two plus two, 10 and four fifths plus 10 and four fifths. So I'm putting them next to each other and we'll use parentheses to group them or to associate them together. Let's bring it down. P equals two plus two is four plus, now we've got two mixed numbers, let's add the holes. 10 plus 10 is 20, four plus four is eight, keep the denominator, five, 20 and 8 fifths, that doesn't really work for me. Because I can add this up, I can say 24 and 8 fifths, but I still have this improper fraction. So let's, let's convert this. 8 divided by 5, how many fives to 8? We've got one. We have three left over fifths. So we can actually add up our 20 and 1 and 3 fifths, because 8 fifths is the same as 1 and 3 fifths. 21 3 fifths, bring it down, plus P equals 4 plus 21 and 3 fifths, P equals 25 and 3 fifths. So that would be our perimeter. Again, area a little bit easier because all we're doing is multiplying. Let's use this area over here. Area equals L times W. Now we can do this a couple of ways. We can multiply straight out. We could, we could multiply two by 10, two by four fifths, or we could simply just add 10 and four fifths and 10 and four fifths. So two times 10 and four fifths, and I'm running out of space. Aye, aye, aye. Let me get a post it. So I'm going to do area equals 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 4 fifths would be 8 fifths. Again, let's divide down how many 5 to 8. We know that already. It's 1 and 3 fifths. So let's add it up. Area equals 21 and 3 fifths. So that would be our area. All right. And this. Put it off to the side right here. All right, moving along. Next one, we have a rectangle. Let's see if we can figure out that perimeter first. P equals side plus side plus side plus side. Oops. What are my sides? Five inches, four inches. P equals four plus four plus five plus five. P equals eight plus 10. Perimeter equals 18 inches. Notice when we do perimeter, we're not putting a square on it because we're not looking for that space in between. We just want the the length around. All right, this one's pretty easy. Let's go with area. Area equals length times width. Area equals five times four. You should know this one. Area equals 20 inches squared. All right, one last one, a little bit harder. Start with our perimeter. P equals side plus side plus side plus side. Perimeter equals half plus half plus 14 plus 14. We're talking yards this time. Let's bring it down. Let's group it together. P equals half and half makes one whole plus 14 and 14 is 28. Bring it down. Perimeter equals one plus 28 is 29 yards. Last one. Let's do the area of this figure, the space in between. 
Um, it should have been a equals area equals find out length times width. A equals half times 14. Now we need to think back. What do we do with whole numbers? I know what you're thinking. Always put it over one. Let's bring it down. Area equals half times 14 over one. Now simply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. One times 14 is still 14. Two times one is two. Divide down, 14 divided by two. Area equals 14 divided by two is seven yards squared. Excellent. All right, my friends, we'll have some sample problems waiting for you. Have a great day.